What's going on guys? So we have some brand new toys announced over on McFarland.com and on Funko.com and uh, they look pretty cool. Honestly, all of them do. You're going to see all of them throughout this video. But before this video starts, I want to know which one do you guys think is going to be your favorite toy set that I'm about to show off. There's a Nightmare toy set, a Balloon Boy toy set, which actually it's Nightmare Balloon Boy, Phantom Foxy, Toy Chica, and Toy Bonnie. Now, I, you, I know you guys haven't seen them yet, but trust me, the Nightmare one is pretty crazy. But tell me yours in the comment section down below when you're done watching the video. Also, if you guys can click the video on screen right now, I would greatly appreciate it. Go show it as much support as you possibly can. And uh, if you guys do, then I'll show that you guys are just some OG gangstas, and I appreciate you guys. Also, drop a like on the video if you're hyped for more toy reviews, because I know you guys seem to really enjoy these. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into the toys. So the first one we have, we're going to start off on the McFarlane toy side, and that is of the right hall with Nightmare. Now, apparently, they're just taking every single jump scare from this game and kind of adding it in as a toy which is pretty cool and it's kind of unique how they're actually doing it because they're not doing you know they're all in the same bedroom they're kind of in different places throughout the house that they appear in which is pretty cool so as you guys know nightmare does appear in the right hall over on i think the sixth night i honestly can't remember it's been forever since i played Friends phrase 2 but it, there is some information to go over now first of all there's some small information um like the brand stuff i'm gonna can i skip over that because obviously the brand is fine at freddy's and stuff like that so you guys basically know but I'm going to go over the description. So it says two windows along its side, a painting hanging on the wall, and a desk at the very end. The right hall in Finds of Phrase 4 appears to be just like any other household hallway. Think again. Not many household hallways have the likes of Nightmare Chica and Foxy, just to name a few, roaming around. Constant and routine checkouts of the hall are necessary to keep them away. But can you make it until you see the sun? So already they've got a pretty unique little like bio right there. That's actually kind of cool how they wrote that. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. A little description of it. Now they also have the product features. As always, I'm going to go over these two. It says buildable right hall micro set inspired by Scott Cawthon's Finds for Age video game series. Like always. Construction set features the terrifying Nightmare animatronic figure and hallway desk. Figures feature articulation in the main joints and have swappable head slash limbs. Bricks and figures are compatible with other construction bands, like always. Collect all the Finds of Freddy's construction sets. Create your own Finance at Freddy's Nightmare. Wait, what? Collect all of the Finance at Freddy's construction sets. Create your own Five Nights at Freddy's Nightmare. So wait, I'm a little confused here. Does that mean I'd have to, like, do I each construction set, do I get a piece that I can then form my own nightmare with? Or does this set not come with Nightmare? <laughs> I'm pretty sure it means that each piece, like each sort of construction piece um, that I've kind of went over, if you buy all of them, each one comes like a small piece. Like Springtrap, for instance, when we actually did an unboxing for those, and all the pieces kind of pieced together and made Springtrap. I think it's going to be something along the lines of that. But that's actually kind of cool. So release date is November 2016, um, and it is approximately 3 inches tall, and it has 30 pieces, and it's going to be $10. That is not bad. $10. Like I said before, these are some good prices. I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but these are some really good prices in my opinion. Anyways, let's go ahead and get on the next one here. So this one is titled Fun with Balloon Boy. And uh, the description it says right here is, Unlike regular Balloon Boy, Nightmare Balloon Boy pops the sweet and innocent look and dons a more menacing animatronic design. With his large pointed teeth, claw-like fingers, and sinister eyes, Nightmare Balloon Boy is just that, a terrifying animatronic that wishes to turn you into his personal balloon animal. Now, he <laughs> turned you into his personal balloon animal. He doesn't, all right, he doesn't really do that, but okay. Um, <laughs> and uh, I don't think he's an, is he? Well, I guess, he, I guess Nightmare Balloon Boy isn't an animatronic because, yeah, I mean, it only really makes sense if he is. Um, I always kind of pictured him just being made of wood with no metal inside of him, but I guess that wouldn't really make any sense. But still, that's just me. I don't know. Um, but yeah, this one's titled Fun with Balloon Boy. Its product features are the same as the other one. It says construction set features, you know, Nightmare Balloon Boy animatronic figure, a chair to set Balloon Boy on, and a display based on an actual location from Finance at Freddy's. Pretty cool. And of course, it does say that it's the same thing as the previous one. Collect all the other Finance at Freddy's construction sets to create your own Finance at Freddy's nightmares. Oh, it just says nightmares. Okay, so obviously it didn't say nightmare. That's why I was wrong. I probably have so many comments right da down there that are, that are probably saying like, it says nightmares, not nightmare. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. But yeah, so nightmares. Okay, so you can actually kind of form them into your own nightmares, as it says here. So the release date is 2016 of November. It is three inches tall, 30 pieces, and it is $10, just like the other one which is pretty awesome. Now, I think the rest of these we haven't actually went over. Now, we did go over some of them in the previous video, but just to make sure that I didn't actually skip over them, or if you guys didn't see that video, I'm going to go over these again. Um, actually, I don't think we have one over these. We haven't. Okay, so we actually have Phantom Foxy. Um, this one is so called Camate Hallway with Phantom Foxy. This one appears to be from Finds at Freddy's 3, just judging by the cheek ahead on the floor and the drawings in the back. They either indicate Finds at Freddy's 2 or 3. I'm going to say 3, though. 
But yeah, anyways, um, no wait, that's probably yeah, it's Phantom Foxy, so it has to be three. I was thinking like you know because how Foxy's all beat up in Fights at Freddy's two. I don't know, maybe it is him. Who knows? Um, it says right here as a prone Chica head lays on the floor with his eyes still blinking. The hallway surveyed by camera 08 and finds the phrase three. Oh, there it is. Finds phrase three. Proves to be one of the creepiest areas throughout the game. While monitoring the hallway, seeing children's drawings of certain animatronics can be tantalizing, but do not stare too long as the real animatronics are constantly lurking, lurk, looking for an opportunity to pounce. Now, this one says a buildable cam a hallway micro set inspired by Finds of Freddy's um, contains approximately 30 pieces. It features a Phantom Foxy animatronic figure, a bonus Chica head, and stickers to decorate the display. I like how they include stickers. I think that's kind of cool because you can kind of like set it up how you want it. I hope this the little like drawings behind Foxy are the actual stickers because that, that'd be kind of cool. Not because I'd actually place them there, but I'd probably place them somewhere else <laughs> just because they look kind of cool. But anyways, the price of this is going to be $10. It's three inches tall. comes out in November. And... And, um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Honestly, I'm pretty hyped for all of these. I think they all look really nice. They got that sort of Lego feel to them, which is pretty cool. Anyways, the next up we have, the next one we have coming up is Toy Chica. It is actually titled Right Air Vent with Toy Chica. So this one is probably from Finance at Freddy's 2 because it's Right Vent. Um, anyways, it says appearing in Finance at Freddy's 2. Yep, <laughs> the ventilation system of Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria brings a whole new meaning to a word, chilling. Serving as two of three ways to uh, the animatronics to get themselves into the office, the left air vent and right air vent must be checked routinely to ensure the animatronics stay out. Should an animatronic find itself close to entering the office through one of the, these vents, a bit of deception may have to be used in order to stay alive. So the product description um, just says basically the other stuff, but it says it features the Chica animatronic figure, the stickers to customize, and the display. Now it also says, of course, like the other ones, build them to make your own nightmares. The price is going to be $10. It's going to be 30 or 30 pieces and 3 inches tall, and of course it comes out in November. Not really else. Not really much else to say there. Now, the next one we have, and actually the final one, is the left air vent with Toy Bonnie. So, that's actually kind of cool, but wait, is it just me, or I could have sworn Bonnie, Toy Bonnie came from the right air vent. Maybe that's just me, though. I don't know. I haven't played Finds Phrase 2 in forever, dude. It's literally been almost two years. Uh, but anyways, appearing in Finds Phrase 2, the ventilation system of Freddy Fazbear bring the whole new... Okay, so this is the same thing as it says in the other one. Um, just check them routinely to stay alive. Not really much else to say on that one. Um, this one contains the Bonnie animatronic figure and stickers to customize the display. And that's really it. It's going to be 30 pieces, $10, and 3 inches tall. So they're all 3 inches tall. And uh, they all released in November. So how cool is that? Now, I think that is actually it for the McFarlane toys. Now, you guys actually told me in the comment section down below, you guys are telling me that the 8-bit figures are actually out right now in Walmart. So if you guys want me to actually pick some of those up from Walmart and actually do an unboxing for you guys, hit that like button down below. And if it gets enough likes, then I'll definitely go ahead and pick them up from there and actually show you guys them in an unboxing video. Anyways, let's go ahead and head over to the Funko page website. Now, as you guys know, Funko has been known for making those really cool figures now, even though they did fall apart extremely extremely easily I did pick all of them up but the actual like figures I'll, I'll screenshots on screen right now of the figures that I unboxed on the channel if you guys actually want to look those up on the channels look up find the phrase figures I'm sure you'll see, find the unboxing video it was pretty cool though they're actually really nicely designed and when you actually get them all together they actually do form spring, spring trap now he doesn't you know stay together all that well but it, you know it's still kind of cool to have spring trap anyways they have some brand new plushies that they apparently announced these include the cupcake or Carl the cupcake um, Chica spring trap Nightmare Foxy, Nightmare Freddy, and the Marionette, or the Marionette, I really can't tell. Actually, it has it right there on the top. So yeah, it comes with the Cupcake, Toy Chica, Springtrap, Nightmare Freddy, Nightmare Foxy, and Nightmare Marionette. And um, these are pretty cool, honestly. Each one on screen, um, I'll have them all like in one like kind of jumbled picture right now. They look very nice. Now, I actually, believe it or not, have yet to pick up any of these sort of like plushies. I have one, which was from GameStop. It's like the GameStop exclusive. Um, I think it's Nightmare Toy. No, it's just I think it's just Toy Freddy, um, if I'm not mistaken. But if you guys also want to see me pick up these, which I think they yeah they come on sale in October. If you guys want to see me pick these up in October, of course, drop a like on the video and tell me in the comment section down below. Um, I'm sure you guys do want to see it though so i probably will honestly out of my favorite i want to know your favorite out of these six in the comment section down below my favorite is probably going to be nightmare foxy which is kind of typical of me because like literally every video actually no last video i said my favorite was nightmare spring trap if you guys saw that video he looks crazy but in this one yeah nightmare foxy looks like a complete monster he
He looks pretty awesome. Um, Springtrap is, of course, he's always that yellow sort of look to him, which I always find to be so weird because I picture him being green because, like, I just always see him as green in the games. But every time they recreate him, it's always, like, a yellowish orange, which, I mean, people tell me that's his actual color. I don't know. I always see him as green. Anyways, though, like I said before, that is all the new figures that have been announced. We have five new play sets, and apparently there's actually more to come. You guys should definitely follow McFarlane Toys on Twitter. I will link down below in the description to check them out. I follow them. They always tweet when they like announce new toys and stuff like that. And if you if you, if you don't want to follow them for whatever reason, follow me because I always retweet when they tweet out that there's new toys coming out. But yeah, these are awesome, and I'm definitely gonna be picking them up. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed, drop a like on the video. If you want to see no, more Final Fantasy Freddy's info and coverage, subscribe to the channel. And of course, click that link that I said at the beginning of the video to check out that video. It'll also be in the description. Show as much support as you guys can on it. I would greatly appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.